PC Online sent me this one terabyte eight data legend 820 M.2 2230 SSD so that I can do a tutorial to show you how easy it is to upgrade the SSD using the ASUS cloud recovery tool that is built into your ASUS ROG Ally. This drive is 100% compatible with not only the ASUS ROG Ally, but also the Steam Deck and Microsoft Surface devices. So let's get started with the tutorial. As far as the tools you're gonna need for the upgrade, you won't need much. You just need a Phillips screwdriver size zero, a plastic spiker tool such as this one or this one right here. So the very first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go ahead and plug in your ROG Ally to power. And you should see a light come up here. Now go ahead and power on your ROG Ally. Okay, now that your ROG Ally has booted up, what you'll wanna do is install all available updates, especially for the BIOS for your Asus ROG Ally, as ASUS has made the process of upgrading your SSD much easier with the latest BIOS versions. So to do that, what you wanna do is head over to Armory Crate, which is this gray icon right here. Then you'll wanna go ahead and hit the content tab. Next, you'll hit update center, and then you'll wanna hit check for updates up here on the top right. Go ahead and give it some time. Once it finishes checking for updates, go ahead and hit update all. Now we'll just wait for all the updates to be downloaded and installed, and then we'll continue further. Okay, and here we see that for device and component, there are no further updates available. So you can go ahead and safely shut your ASUS RG LA down, and then we can continue the process. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to installing your new SSD onto your RG Ally. You wanna go ahead and disconnect the power, turn over your ROG Ally, and now we're gonna use our size zero Phillips screwdriver to go ahead and remove the corner four screws as well as the top center screw. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. We're gonna go ahead and leave this bottom center screw on for now. And just wanna show you that the screws are quite long. Now for these top corner screws, you're probably gonna to have to flip over the RG Ally to remove those screws. Now that leaves us with the bottom center screw here. You're gonna go ahead and untighten this one, but you're not gonna remove it. This actually stays with the case. And now we're gonna use our plastic spudger tool. You pick the one that works best for you. And I recommend starting somewhere around these buttons to try and pry the back cover off. So I'm gonna try right here just to get in here. And we see that I'm already in and we see it open already here and just work your way through. And there it is. Simple as that. It was super easy to remove this back cover. So now we're gonna put the cover aside. And again, the bottom center screw stays with the cover. Now the next thing you wanna do is go ahead and disconnect the battery. Do take note that the red cables are on the left and the black cables on the right. And you can use your spudger tool to work on the corners a little bit. And you see that it's already coming out and it's out. So now we can just put that aside. Now you can see this black sticker here that covers the main board. Now you don't need to completely remove it. All you need to do is you're gonna peel it back a little bit so we can get to this screw here and remove the SSD. So you can just peel it back just like that and take your Phillips screwdriver and remove the screw there. And go ahead and set the screw aside. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this little spudger tool under and what you wanna do is slide the SSD out just like that. So go ahead and set the old SSD aside. And now we're gonna install this one terabyte A-Data SSD, which is gonna double our capacity of the ROG Ally. And just notice this little slot here on the right, you wanna align it just like this, and then you're gonna slide it in. What you can do is slide it in at an angle to begin with, and then just put it down, and then just push it in. And there we go, you heard it snap in. We're gonna go ahead and replace the screw. And just like that, our new one terabyte SSD has been installed. You can go ahead and replace the black cover. And you're gonna go ahead and connect the battery back up with the cable. There we go, push it all the way in. And that's what it should look like once it's properly installed. Now I told you this will be easy, right? But we're not quite done. Let's go ahead and replace the cover, snap it back in. 
and just go ahead and feel around, make sure everything snapped back in. And now go ahead and replace the screws and then we'll continue from there. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and turn our RG Ally over, plug in the power, and now we're gonna hold down the power button to power it on, and it should automatically boot into the BIOS screen. Okay, once you're on a BIOS screen, go ahead and hit advanced mode. Go ahead and hit the advanced tab on top. From there, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and select ASUS Cloud Recovery, and then you're gonna go ahead and follow a few prompts to reinstall software to your RG Ally from the cloud. So I'm gonna go ahead and just walk you through this. You're gonna go ahead and select view policy. And if you agree, go ahead and check the box and hit agree. Now it's gonna check for network information. And if you get to the screen where it says cannot connect to network, don't worry, we're actually gonna to connect to your home Wi-Fi network on the next screen. So once you hit next on the next screen, go ahead and enter your home Wi-Fi information and then you'll be able to proceed. So once you connect to your home Wi-Fi, it's gonna say connection succeeded and you're gonna go ahead and hit okay to continue. Now it's gonna to connect to ASUS's cloud recovery servers and now it says the file is ready for download. So we're on the right track, go ahead and select next. And now the system is gonna go ahead and download some files. All right, and once the files have been downloaded, go ahead and confirm to continue the cloud recovery process. Please note that this particular step does take a while, so please be patient. Okay, if everything goes well, you should get to this screen where it's asking you whether you wanna back up your files first. Now, I do wanna mention that the previous step where it says checking does take an enormously long time, so please be patient. For me, it actually took about half an hour. So now that we're in this step, of course, we don't need to back up any files because we have a brand new SSD installed. So you can go ahead and select no. Now I warned you one more time, are you sure you wanna start the cloud recovery process? And it does say this is gonna take about 14 gigabytes and may take some time to complete the process. So let's go ahead and hit yes. Once you get to this screen in the recovery process, you can go ahead and walk away and come back later as the rest of the process will be automated. All right, and here we see that the ASUS Cloud Recovery completed successfully, and you should finally end up on this screen, which is the same screen that you got when you open up your RG Ally for the very first time. So at this point, you can go ahead and set up your RG Ally as if it were a brand new device. So I hope this tutorial was useful and thanks for watching.